And that is what uh, Devulumayi is now talking about, that Peter will be demolished people's houses. And he didn't pay compensation. But he, Devulumayi, is going to pay some people compensation. As if to say, the real argument is about compensation or the loss, or let me say the failure to protect the local investors and local investment protect them but no because there is more to it now talking about oh it is a legacy project i'm going to show you videos collection of videos of nigerian federal roads across nigeria especially southern part of nigeria so i mean some of them that i believe 15 trillion will make a lot of changes. It will improve the lives of the people of these areas. But nobody gives a damn. You can tell me, eh, if there is a 15 trillion error to be used in building new road to nowhere, which they say is the Tifnumbu's legacy, this can be his legacy now. By being the first person to fix all of the major highways, major roads across Nigeria. Here you get. It's not about uh, any legacy that has to do with the people. The road is going to serve millions of people. Are you kidding me? Is that going to be your new road when it's completed in 2042? What will happen to all these ones? Let's start with this. And they tell you. What's it? If you have to go to the house. This is in Sofia. This is at the boundary between the Sofia and the Buku. Look at motorists. Look at the road leading from the Buku to through Sofia to a flood. You can see traffic congestion because of bad roads. Nigeria for us. Nigeria for us. That is it. Nigeria for us. This is Sofia. It's a federal road that passed from Ibuku through Sofia to Ekulobia. This is it. See what people are passing through. This is Anambra State. Sofia in Anambra State. This is it. A place we have a, where we have government collecting tax. This road has been like this since the first time of Dwari in power. You can imagine. And this is not, this is not the only way that is going to everywhere, everywhere. No good road. Last 
man, he I owe all of them, they will stop you and make money from your hand. And then we have a government, the same government that has been in power since 2015. They cannot fix this particular road. I road though, people they say every road they do now, now federal government road. See, Obaseki, see ya. Obaseki, see ya. No, I'm going ask Obaseki. Obaseki. Uh -huh. 40 buses where brick, where road where go pass, oh, uh -huh. road road, uh -huh. they don't road, say. See road. Where the road, where the free, free buses today? I don't know, to no guy road. No road though. Saboki that block, M so? block, info block. All those road are federal government road. Federal government road. No. Obaseki, wake up for your slumber. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is how deplorable and it's where the road is. Just imagine how this road, very dead trap. Very dead trap. We believe that this is a federal, federal road. This is Nigeria federal government road. This is where 40 feet container do pass. As you can see, some car is coming because of how deplorable this road is. This is very unfortunate. You can never obtain this. This is life in Shagamo. Shagamo Ikorodu Road. So what people are going through. Look at what people are going through, man. Yeah. See what people are going through. See, look. 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 Oh, Shubuni now. Look. 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 And they tell you. What is this? A country that has 15 trillion. Do you know how far that will go? If all these roads, if that 15 trillion is shared to different road contractors to just go to all these spots, all of these major ones in a single year and spend that 15 trillion and make all those places motorable. Do you know what the effect that is going to have on the economy of these areas? and the economy of Nigeria, the lives of the people that are plying the roads. Could you imagine the impact? Could you imagine what legacy that would be? No, they are not interested in any legacy. So a lady took uh, Umayi up on this at that they are hearing. And suddenly Umayi no understand English. He needed an interpreter. Listen. Um, you mentioned the ESIA is currently being carried out by... Uh, sister, I was raised in the village. Me are not here for me. Well, so, sorry. So try I, to I speak. I can't help the way I speak. You mentioned that the ESIA was being carried out at the moment. Um, the EIA Act of 1992... I need interpreter. Well, you have enough people next to you. The EIA Act of 1992 states that an EIA must be approved by the Federal Ministry of Environment yes. before the commencement of any project. No, Unless an exemption it's has not been done given. So. There is preliminary approval, there is final approval. Has what? an exemption been given? And if so, if you have the preliminary approval... Exemption of what? 
for the project to start without the final approval? If you have the preliminary approval, can this be shared? We are following public? due process. So can we have a it copy of the preliminary approval? It is federal government that gives the approval. It's not you. It's so can we have a government. copy of the preliminary we, approval? We have the approval. And you can make that public to the media? Everything in order. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Like I said, the whole project is a scam. An avenue to loot the whatever is left in your purse. There is not going to be any road project. There is not going to be any 700 kilometer road to Calabar. No. There is not going to be any goddamn road from Shokoto to Badagri. No. But they will initiate them. They will initiate them. Okay? And yeah, for as long as it takes them, they will drawn and drawn and drawn from your empty treasury until it is totally red. There's no plan on... No. Do you want me to show you another part of uh, the collection of uh, the roads that 15 trillion could help in changing in Nigeria in a single year, one year? All these things, all these ones, eh, they will become a new, beautiful, brand new road. 15 trillion criminals. Here again. Look. Look. Oh, This is express road in Ekoma. Express road. Bini express road in Ekoma. Look at it. See road. See road. See road. See road. Mark logo pass this thing. May not be saying I for this thing carry you. Siamo, he don't read. Now government process of video so mona siamo. He don't read. See, now cover video so. You don't read for everybody. Everybody go collect. See, see, na inda na na he just say yes. So governor, see, na governor na he just say what so. You don't talk. Na he want to be this governor of your state. You don't read. See their convoy. And not they go where now they go. See, na he just stay beneath so he just stay for ROCC. Na he for red so. 
Si vous souhaitez des semaines, des comptes de doux, des noms de doux. Donc, quand des lots de blocs de poudre, des c'est la route de doux. Des c'est de doux. Des c'est de doux. Des c'est de doux. Des c'est de doux. Où tu as stoppé ma carte et ma main comme mito? Moi là, c'est un gars blanc de dismont au sol. Tiens, 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 tiens. Il décide, il hide, il déchire. Il n'a plus comment ça. Non, so everybody they collect for Nigeria, both the poor and the rich. Everybody they collect. Non, so that's my people. Now go share them all. I think it's beyond being a federal road. I mean, you know, this is a major road. It's the economic lifeline of Edo State. You cannot go from. This is the road that takes you from Benin through the longest span of the state to Edo North. You know, we are stuck here. We cannot get from Benin to Ekwama, you know, because the road, the road has failed. What's sad is this it would have cost us a fraction of the amount if our, you know, our call was heeded to two, three months ago. We had made pleas, we had begged, we had done everything possible to the federal authorities to just help with maintenance before the rains. You can see we are cut off as a state. I mean, and this is really devastating for us. Our economy has, is grounded. We just don't know. We don't know. I mean, we, we, we're really helpless. Yaya Belo, Olenye, 80.2 billion, Olenye, you squad that ram, Olenye, 1.1 billion, Olenye, just for school fees, Olenye, God go punish you, Olenye, Ogun go kill you, Olenye, Ole Buruku, Olenye, Ole Wereenye, Olenye, 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 Yaya Belo, Olenye, 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 Yaya Belo, Olenye, Olenye, this is not government Bola Tinibu, I know. <laughs> Since 1992, when I encounter you, I don't think this is the Ahmed Bola Tinibu, I know. That calls me his friend, and I call him my friend, and calls me my son, and I call him my father. This is not Ahmed Bola Tinibu, I know. E kalo boko tu bo dugare bebe e bi kite bo ima ima e si buba. You tell me if I am kind of uh, wrong that even if you want to build coastal road, okay, and you are not in a rush, okay, to carry out your scam, about 15 trillion can change a lot of lives. Did you see that uh, that Mark trailer? That, were, that attempted to enter water that he didn't know that he was entering river and it tumbled. I saw how many of you were like, Jesus, wow, yay. And they started looking for the driver. You saw that, Abby? That is the situation. You tell me if there is no corruption, 15 trillion will not change a lot of that. And there will be no need to destroy people's jobs and people's investments. But since they are the people that will do what they will do and double down, and if you are trying to kind of uh, stop them, they will turn it into ethnic and tribal war. With that, they can easily win the sympathy of their begotted supporters. I haven't actually really seen any self-hating Igbo that has publicly called for the persecution of uh, his own people simply because they won't kiss the ass of those who want them dead. There is Igbophobia. There is also self-hating Igbos. And most of uh, the Igbo elite, they are self-hating Igbos. If they have a chance, they will tell you, I cannot give my Igbo, my Igboness for anything else. But they will watch their fellow Igbos slaughtered by different regimes in Nigeria. As long as uh, they are spared as the house house niggas.
So I've never seen anyone that is, I actually thought it was a uh, hopeless Uzo Dingba or hopeless Uzo Dijo. That is, which he happened to be the one that opened the gateway of uh, terrorism into the eastern part of Nigeria in order to give uh, an ex I mean, excuse to the murderous uh, Bokwari Sami to come in and then uh, clean and continue their their massacre, ethnic cleansing that is going on in Eastern Nigeria, underreported. But yet, I actually thought uh, Uzo Dingba was, I know about uh, Devulumai, but you see this too, I have never seen any self eating Igbo like them. And they will say anything, they will do anything just to satisfy whoever is their master. So Devuluma, he should continue. And he should continue to help them set the Igbos up. Peter Obi is a Nigerian politician. He's not a Biafran politician. If uh, Tifnumbu is not Odudua politicians, then Obi is not Biafran politicians. He never support Biafra. Like Tifnumbu never support Yoruba nation as well. So why should the people that would love to have something different from this be held responsible? in your political war think about that they double down they don't like to take responsibility they lied yesterday that uh, they have just signed a 16 sorry 600 million dollars uh seaport uh seaport infrastructure uh, infrastructure uh expansion yeah. nonsense yeah and the company said, no, we didn't sign anything. Do you know that uh, Myers have lost over 4% of their own uh, shares? 4% of the value of their shares lost. Over $1.2 billion have been lost by these people. With that useless uh, fake news from Tifnubu and his gang. They started deleting all of their posts. They started deleting everything they put out there, the lies. They were deleting them, including uh, Onofunuga bio. Only for some of these sewage dwellers to post another video of which is fake video. The video that did not say, hey, but the, the contract wasn't signed in Saudi Arabia, it was signed in February. That's what they do. When they get caught in one scam, they fly another one. And another one they fly today is uh, the salary increase. It's a scam. It's a fraud, and I will show you, okay? Of course, I want to listen to this uh, <clears throat> this review done by the Arise crew uh, on their program, The Money Show. I don't know if you've seen this, right? Talking about uh, the embarrassing fake news of $600 million a deal in the head of the demented Kolu and his uh, insane lunatic uh, crumb chasers, these voluntary slaves. Oh, listen. Well, the presidency has come under fire on social media after officials of Danish shipping company AP Moller Mask on Tuesday denied a $600 million investment deal with the Nigerian government. Well, on April 28th, special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Ajuri Ngalali, in a statement, claimed that Nigeria secured a $600 million investment to expand existing port infrastructure to accommodate more container shipping services in Nigerian ports. Well, according to Ngalali, Robert Ugla, chairman of AP Mola Musk, made the investment commitment during a meeting with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Saudi Arabia. But according to Lloyd's list on April 29th, the $600 million investment in Nigeria, as stated by the presidency, was news to Musk. The report added that the company's chairman, Ugla, met with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu over the weekend, but no new investment deal was signed. I mean, Rufai, I know you're saying, because mm, I did see some of your, you know, well, you know, your statements it, on uh, uh, Twitter. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, it does appear. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, let, let me just take this uh, tweet from Hamless, who wrote, this one, the entire government is now depending only on propaganda. Does it now imply that Tinubu has run out of ideas from Dubai visa ban 
to mass $600 million investment. How long should we continue to delete posts and keep writing uh, these articles? But I believe that he's responding to uh, Bayo Nonuga, who actually yeah. deleted the post announcing the deal as well. I'll take Godswill's uh, tweet. Uh, he wrote, breaking news. This is the global Tinubu effect. Maersk lost almost 4% of their market capitalization in less than 12 hours after Tinubu's administration falsely announced that the company was going to invest $600 million in Nigeria.